My name is Amalia and I am from Indo Global Mandiri University. I'll start my speech in three, two, one. This house would ban all production and consumption of meat. And I am as closing government do not support with this statement. I would like to say that debates over the proper human diets are always confusing because it depends. And the government want to ban all production of meat. And this is actually not the right thing for government to ban because there are other important things that government should focus on rather than ban meat production. And in this session, there are two points I would like to say. The first, opening government state that they should not eat meat and start to having plant-based diet, or we should start to call ourselves as vegetarian. There are actually many kind of vegetarian, and according to the research conducted at the University of Greece, vegetarians are two to three times more likely to having depression, anxiety, eating disorder, and syndrome rather than meat eaters. We, can, we cannot say that the protein from animals and plants are the same. They are different proteins and use for every kind of proteins are actually put different effect on our bodies. The second point is why the government want to stop us to eat meat. The government said that eating meat same like immoral act, harmful, killing and torture animals. Actually, there's something called food chain. And I have to politely disagree with this anti-meat argument. Our genes are developed before the algae cultural revolution. And we are not only a meat eater, but also enthusiastic ones of all that times. The human genome has changed less than 0.02% in the last 40,000 years. And our body were genetically, genetic, genetically programmed to eat and, fun and functioning on a diet including meat and that program has not changed we are actually already developed to eat the meat the, we should not uh, stop the production of meat first because there are actually many reasons why we should not first we were created that way and we and actually there's any kind of uh, how we could kill animal without harm them there again that back come back to how we do it and that is conclude what we believe second meat help to keep our blood sugar level that steady and stable this is mean that meat will preventing type 2 diabetes and there are other and other chronic disease other than giving ourselves an energy meat also giving us many kind of benefits like preventing sickness illness and others that's why i said meat is very very important Third, people who do not eat meat are especially vulnerable to neurometer disease. Because of the um, absence of meat will 
uh, decrease our the acid on our body that will if the acid decrease this is will make uh, happen that the disease on our body like decrease the use of our body itself that's why we really really need meat um, as well as that we also need meat to keep our weight and um, our body emotional state and also protein and the other thing so ourselves can stay stable like we will have our body more stable and more more and more healthy there are all of the reason why we should not support this meat production ban and i would like to say that we are created this way and we could not stop and we could not change how we created that's why we should not agree with this statement thank you